Hello, children. It's me, your good friend Santa Claus. And it's Christmas time now. The absolute greatest time of the year. At least for me it is, for obvious reasons. For others, it might be a depressing time, but let's ignore that. Here we are now at the home of the YouTube channel known as 100 Bomb Studios. This is such a bright and interesting place at this time of year. Why don't we check up on them and we shall see. Well, hello there, Brendan. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, whoever is speaking right now. It's Santa. Did you forget I was coming? Oh no, I remember. It's just, you'd be surprised how many narrators we have show up here, so I just wasn't sure which one you were. But whatever. Merry Christmas, Santa. So what do you have going on right now? Wrapping gifts? Cranking the jingle tunes? Shouldn't you know this? Yes, but I chose not to watch you guys right now in order for this video to still be interesting. Oh. Much appreciated. Well, right now, I'm just editing some Christmas videos for this year. You know, kind of last minute, but it's been busy this year. Well, at least you're cracking away at it now. Really shows the commitment. I love it. Thanks. Okay, half commitment, it seems. Hey, I need to have some leisure time as well, Nick. Don't judge me. Okay, then. I'm just going to check on someone else right now while you're doing that. Ho, ho, ho. Hello, Thomas. Oh, Merry Christmas, Santa. So, what do we have going on here, sport? Oh, just some last-minute Christmas shopping. I bought this really nice vase for my mom. Oh, lovely. Bit of a cliche. What was that? Oh, nothing, nothing. I just said, oh, lovely. Ho, ho, ho. Okay. Well, I think she's really going to like it. I got this really cool Picasso design to it. All I got to worry about is some joker running in and nabbing this gift from me. Well, have no fear, because I see everything and you are clear. Hey, you! <gasps> Skinny bastard! Give me that! I thought you said I was in the clear. I'm going to be real honest with you. I did not see that guy. He's good. He's really good. Don't compliment him! Get back here! Oh, shoot! Well, I guess that happened. <laughs> oh, no! Not in Jingle Bells! Not in Jingle Bells! I'm just gonna leave this alone for now and check up on you later. Well, if it isn't Caitlyn... Can you please refer to me as my title, The Worst Hitman Ever? You said your name was Caitlyn in a video one time, so why would I not refer to you by your actual name? Jeez, I thought you were kind of all. Yes, well, I do have a bit of a cheeky side, too. So let me guess. You're committing a murder. Calm your sugar plums there, Kringle. I'm not. So, what are you doing then? Well, usually this time of year my inbox gets backed up with orders from people because they either want me to incapacitate someone for the time being so that they don't steal the Turbo Man action figure they're trying to get for their kid, or they want me to kill their significant other for cheating on them during the holidays. It's usually that one. You know, you could just say no pin this entirely on me, some assholes want me to kill someone. So, are you here to kill someone right now? Like I said, no. Usually what happens is the person who initiated the cheating to begin with will find out they were also being cheated on with the person they were cheating on with. Then, that person who was cheating on the first person who was the first cheater will then reveal they've also been doing some cheating then, the person who hired me will then show up somehow with no explanation in the plot, once in a while the pregnant plot twist comes in. Ugh, it's like a Hallmark movie threw up. I... I'm really sorry, does that happen often? Good lord, yeah! Sometimes, your elves get caught in these situations too. Uh, word of advice, also, don't ask Ginger if the wedding is still on with tinsel. So, usually I just end up sitting here and watching this show unfold, which is happening right now. 
that is sure uh, something. Yep. So you're essentially just scamming money out of people by not doing your job. Worst hitman ever. Hello. And don't complain to me about this. You already were complaining to me about accepting these contracts to begin with. So scamming money is essentially better. Well, yeah, actually, good point. How can this get any worse? John, I have a confession. I am cheating as well. Oh, come on! Oh, man. A fourth cheating plot twist? That's new. Put these folks on Oprah. Well, I'm going to go check in on someone else, so have fun, Caitlin. Thanks, and not funny. Hello, Deadpool. <laughs> Jesus, who said that? It's me, Santa Claus. F***ing shit, man. Give me guys some f***ing warning next time. Please watch your language. It is Christmas, after all. Oh, whatever. You know I hold the record for the longest person on Nihilus anyways, so don't get your tinsel on a knot. Damn it, I punned. So, what's the Merc with a Mouth up to this Christmas season? Oh, you know, the usual stuff. I'm about to go Battle of Krampus. What? Yeah. I ticked him off a few years ago, so now every now and then on Christmas he comes to battle me to the side, the fates of Christmas, or some nonsense like that. No, here he is now. So wait, you're telling me you have to save Christmas every year? No, not every year. Just whenever he wants to knock myths or have a measuring contest. I guess I save Christmas every now and then, adding to the list of people who already have. And yet you're still on my naughty list. Yeah, a double-edged sword, kinda. Anyways... Crappy! I'm about to jam those horns of yours right in your eyes! You might want to leave unless you intend on keeping those milk and cookies down from last year. Alrighty then. Let's check back with Thomas. I don't even know where they got those. Let's try someone else, or rather some others. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas, brothers! Oh my god, it's Santa! Oh, nice! What's up, Santa? How you doing? I'm doing great, thank you. Very jolly. That's good. All living things should be happy, like the trees. So, what have we got going on with you fellas this year? I'm currently breaking in some Christmas tunes. I'm making donations to the orphanage downtown. I'm praying extra hard to my lord and savior Cthulhu to give him enough energy he needs to kill that wommy poser Krampus devil better not kill him. That honor belongs to THE Cthulhu! Yeah, okay, you keep... doing your weird things, Joe. Krampus can go to hell. I'm getting some gifts ready! I made the most mathematical and logistically best choices for gifts for my friends and family. Could you have not made that sound so lame? It's not lame! It made the process very effective. Oh, whatever, you geek. How about you, Bill? Anything exciting going on right now? Not really. Mostly because somebody has cut me off my rockets right now! I didn't cut you off. I just said you need to hold back on them right now. We're trying to make our preparations for the holidays. Devin is literally doing jack and you ain't giving him flack! Does Rudolph feel pain with his nose, Santa? When he sneezes, does he sneeze sparks? Uh. Yeah, but that's expected of his character. He was written as an idiot. Here, for the time being, eat these instead to clench your... whatever your rocket thing was. They're semi more healthy. Reese's cups? Fine. It's pretty good. If he starts furiously shitting that stuff later on, you're cleaning it up. 40 last time, Scott, we are not getting a real tree. Trees are murdered every year because of punks like you, just so you can decorate it for a month, then toss it to the trash like a used condom! No, I was going to say toothbrush. 
but plastic trees are not the same. They don't have the same energy. Actually, I do have to agree with Miles. Did you know the odds of electrical failures and malfunctions on a Christmas tree catching fire are 30%? Oh, brother, I don't give a damn about... Wait, 30%? That's bullshit. Well, everyone here seems to be busy right now. Why, if it isn't Ryan McFlirbledurp? That's McFlirbledurp with a capital M and a capital DERP. Sorry, my bad. What's happening here? No one has seen you on this channel since your first video. Yeah, well, after my failure with the Hydranian toothpaste causing people to gain superpowers and go on rampages and such and such, watch the video, we go into more detail about it. My company, the Aussie Incorporation, went out of business, so now I'm kind of broke and homeless. I thought you lived at 100 Bomb Studios. I never officially signed anything for that yet, so here I am. Wow, I'm really sorry to hear that. Thanks. I've been trying to get back up on my feet, though. Recently, I created this little thing I call the Horn Dog Ray. I'm gonna be honest, I'm afraid to ask what it is. It's a ray meant for those people who have, <clears throat> you know, performance issues. Unfortunately, I accidentally typed Corn Dog Ray into the code, so when I shoot people with it, it makes them forcefully projectile vomit corn dogs. Wow. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda s not surprised that you went out of business with these inventions. Well, someone woke up on the wrong side of North Pole this morning. Okay then, I'm just gonna go looking on Deadpool. Uh, Deadpool? Where are you? Over here. You okay? Oh, I'm... Peachy. Krampmeister really gave me... a beatdown. But I gave him an even... bigger one. Oh, shit. I feel like... I just finished... a viewing... of Green Lantern. So, did you kill Krampus? Yeah. I pulled a Bruce Lee move on him and came leaping out of nowhere and sliced. Sliced his goddamn head off, that's why I'm so tired. And if I'm correct, his head should lay on the ground next time you cut to that shot of the house. There's that dirty armpit. <laughs> That is not what he looked like earlier in the video. We're on a budget constraint, so don't shame me here. Oh, but look! It's a mistletoe! Santa, give him a kiss. Oh, no thank you. I promise he won't give tongue. Oh. Okay, now he shouldn't. God damn it, Deadpool! Ah! Hey, sounds like a pissed off like a Fulu fanfic freak from the not so twin bros. Oh god, that smell is horrible. I need to leave. Merry Christmas, Spider Man. Oh, hey Santa. Merry Christmas to you too. Now, sorry, correct me if I'm wrong, but when were you a character on this channel? Well, Brendan was making a Spider Man fan film, but that's currently stuck in limbo, so who knows when that happens, but. I have been in a few other videos, like these ones. Well, I suppose that's good enough for me. So, what's going on? Well, I've just been sitting here spreading some Christmas and holiday cheers to everybody that passes. You look like a hack, New Yorker! Tom Holland sucks! Yeah, I've been getting a lot of grumpy people. Well, at least you're trying. Yeah. That's it. I don't got much to add. The writer gave up on me here. Merry Christmas! Tell your family I wish them all the best. What happened with the guy you were fighting? Well, we got tired of fighting. Then we started talking. Turns out we have a lot in common. He saw the same face he wanted in the store right near us. So he bought it. Seriously? That simple? Yep. It's a bullcrap deus ex machina Christmas miracle. Feels a little bit more like lazy writing to me. That's my line! If this offer doesn't convince PewDiePie we need to collab, then it's his loss. Ho ho ho, Brendan, I'm back.
I had a lovely time conversing with all of your employees. Yeah, and it sure took your merry time. I have to edit all this, remember? I'm editing it right now. Don't ask me how I'm doing it because even I don't get it. Well, my apologies, but once I get going, I can't stop. Plus, your employees really know how to kill my time with their maddening antics. I know. Well, thank you for doing this, Santa. I appreciate it. You're most welcome, my fellow bearded friend. Goodbye. Well, wasn't that just eventful? I mean, what a real joy that was. Okay, I will admit, pretty freaking weird. But these guys are good kids for the most part. I'll give them something nice for the holidays. Christmas morning, and all of our friends are waking up with some nice gifts waiting for them. Thank you, Santa. What's this? Huh. What happens if I press this? Context for the cops watching this. This this is a bag of sugar. It's the closest I could get. They are vicious. Well... It's a start, though! Wait! Seriously? 
that's it? That's how we're ending this big Christmas special? Well, how would you end it then? Well, not like this. Not this generic. Do something at least cliché, like all of us in a Christmas card at the end or something. Actually, that's a great idea. Whoa! You actually want to do that? It was just an idea! You got a problem with that? Well... Actually, not really. Perfect! So we're doing it! Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays!